This week's blog post is on Brook Green Gardens in South Carolina. I have posted on Brook Green before, but I always crop the photos to show just the sculptures. However, one of the marvelous features of Brook Green is that many of the sculptures have a small garden that is specifically designed to set off that particular sculpture. So in this series of posts, I'm using photos that I took in early June when the gardens were full of flowers, and I'm trying to give you a sense of the the gorgeous settings rather than just the sculptures. This pair of sculptures is peacocks, created in 2004 by Dan Ostermiller, and it is right near the gift shop where you enter. The time and care that are taken in Brook Green are really, really remarkable. You never see anything that is not well maintained, the sculptures, the plants. It is not all paved like this, but where it is paved, it's beautifully maintained. This sculpture is called Young America. It's by Joseph Walker, created around 1940. It's near the entrance. This series is called The Circle of Life, and it dates to 2001. According to the label, the artist, Harold Tuck Langland, says, quote, Using the metaphor of dance, this group of four figures represents the cycles of human life, four seasons, four elements, and four directions. This is a part of the gardens called the Live Oak Alley. Really huge live oak trees. The sculpture is called Wind on Water. It's by Richard McDermott Miller, and it dates to 1992. The label notes that this is a draped version of his sculpture Spacewalker, an earlier work by Miller that represented a nude figure stepping out into space. Brook Green actually has a bronze version of Space Walker not far from this sculpture, and I will show it to you in part two of this post. But you can get a sense from these pictures of how much space they allow the sculptures in Brook Green. It's very different from being at the Metropolitan Museum, for instance, where you really can't look at one sculpture without seeing two or three others. And the last sculpture for this week is by Kent Ulberg. It's called Ring of Bright Water and it's based on a story by Gavin Maxwell. Ulberg is a native of Sweden. It's just a really lovely composition, the way it circles around there, and the face of this critter is just adorable. The URL on the bottom of the screen shows you how you can see all of the posts on my website about Brook Green Gardens. DianeDranteWriter.com has hundreds of posts on sculpture, painting, Central Park, and my many other obsessions. To join the free Sunday Recommendations email list, visit the URL that's on the screen, or just email me. And you can say, well done, Diane, or support my work on a recurring basis and receive rewards by means of the tip jar on DianeDranteWriter.com. Thank you, as always, for listening.